Hi, this is J.D. Ingram of the Charleston Pipe Band, and I want to welcome you to my series on how to be a great piper in three steps. As a refresher, here is the tree diagram for our three easy steps. Stay tuned as we dive into today's topic. Step three, have clean transitions, because how you get from one note to the next is just as important as what those notes are and when they are. Why is it so important to have clean note transitions? In my opinion, crossing noises are the number one thing you can do to make your playing sound sloppy and uninspiring, and even an unfamiliar audience is going to think, man, that bagpipe does not sound very good if you're playing with lots and lots of crossing noises. The skills are to not play crossing noises. No crossing noises, no crossing noises, no crossing noises. I cannot emphasize it enough. Our drills, we're going to practice controlling crossing noises, controlling the intermediate or run crossing noises, and to film yourself or play in a mirror so that you can watch and make sure your hands are in the correct position. Don't make crossing noises. Crossing noises are the worst. The best way I've found to practice them are, one, practicing all the possible note transitions. If you're looking for that, look two videos ago on how to play the right note, because we know the next note is either up or down a pitch or part of the same chord. Um, so we can really focus in on mastering those note transitions. We could also possibly work on having our fingers work uh, independently closer to the beat by playing the right note at the right time, um, and then we can just drill our crossing noises and practice control. So um, control drills, we uh, will practice putting in a crossing noise on pur purpose and then making it smaller. So the most common crossing noise, D, D, E, right? I can go. smaller each time until you've worked it out. Um, you can do the same thing with one of the uh, intermediate crossing noise or run crossing noises like B to or G to B. Alright, something like that. Um, you can practice uh, the siren exercise if you want. your issue is more of a false fingering nature so um, it's hard to hear that it's hard to uh, practice controlling that if you're not catching yourself but watching yourself in a camera like I am right now or in a mirror and forcing yourself to get that bottom hand back in home position is the way to go we'll look at some of this on paper next Here's some sheet music that is inspired originally by Matt Willis Bagpiper. I would encourage everybody to go check out his channel for lots of great tips and videos, but this shows my methods for controlling crossing noises, both intermediate and the heavy lift drop. All right, so you saw on the sheet, I've written out every uh, common crossing noise that I think I started with the run intermediate type crossing noises, and then I went to the heavy this is close to exhausted, but I think there's probably options out there uh, for uh, possibilities for crossing noises that I did not capture. Again, make it work for you. Uh, you don't have to play the sheet top to bottom. If you have been working on a tune and you caught yourself making a crossing noise from E to high A, for instance, find the spot where that is and practice it.
four, four possibilities and do it on a loop, then when you get it to where you can consistently hit that last one perfectly, do the last one like five, 10 times in a row, force yourself to really um, drill it into your hands that this is the correct thing we want and celebrate yourself when you get it right. Good little mental hack is if you focus more on when you do it right than when you do it wrong, uh, you will strengthen those pathways more quickly. So keep up the good work. Get rid of those crossing noises. In summary, this video has been the third in a series talking about step one, have good finger work. Part one, have clean playing. That's focusing on the big notes still. And today we talked about have clean transitions because crossing noises are the absolute worst. Don't play crossing noises. Have a great day, guys.